I have been reading this book called The Tao of Leadership, and I recognize that um, great leadership requires a great ability to not do anything in some ways. In other words, to not try to make things happen, but to um, be conscious of what's occurring in the moment and be very uh, flexible and in, in, in where you go, but very rooted in, in the basis of you know, the principle of what you're trying to do. I've been around a lot of directors and one thing that I'm always fascinated with is that they can project this aura of relaxation and confidence and yet right. they're getting exactly what they want. Yeah. It's almost like they're able to do it in spite of what you would think it would take to get something done. Yeah, Guy Ritchie is a very good example of the uh, Tower of Leadership because he has a very relaxed set, um, a very kind of witty and fun and, um, and loose set. And sometimes you'd look over and he'd be like playing chess while they're setting something up. And some part of me, the kind of anal uptight part of me, would be like, this is crazy. We should be talking about the next scene. But that's because I've been in close proximity for a producer, with a producer for so long, the missus, that I tend to think more and more about the overall scope and schedule and timing. And Susan is so efficient that she's thinking about what she could be doing, you know, while she's doing what she could be doing. Right. While she's doing what she could be doing. So. But um, Guy's a really good example of that because he winds up getting the kind of result he wants without having to, and once in a while he'll step in and, and get all, you know, cheeky and act something out or like tell you exactly what he's thinking just to show that, you know, he, he can do that once in a while if he wants. But for the most part, he just kind of really lets things uh, happen.